Hello, N4H and H here. I want to talk to you just a minute about uh, RF feedback. Um, I've had a couple of questions come up related to RF feedback or strange noises in your audio. And uh, I, I haven't talked about this extensively. I think I might have touched on it in an old video. But um, I want to show you something here. You see, this is a Heil PR781 microphone. I've got the uh, foam uh, cover over it, you know, that protects the mic from, well, your spit and stuff like that. But it's also, you know, protects against what we call P-pops. Um, but uh, that's one thing, you know, that, that can help just keep out some extraneous noise. But you can have RF feedback, and I want to show you these chokes I have on here. Now, let, let me show you what those chokes um, really fit. Uh, those are hard to come by. I found some at a ham fest and I've ordered some before from Radio Shack, but you know, they fit that ladder line like that really well and they can snap to one another. Now the two on the left are not snapped together, but the two on the right are. Um, so, but the problem you have in a shack is if you have an antenna like an off-center fed dipole, you see that coax coming down right there? That's from an off-center fed dipole. And uh, what happens is, you know, off-center fed dipoles work based on harmonic resonances. So, you know, you cut them for the length of the longest band, and then um, if you feed the antenna, it's, it's a dipole, but you feed it one-third of the way in from one end. So, for example, this antenna is uh, 90 feet in one direction and uh, on one side of the ballon, the feed point, and it's 45 feet on the other side. So it, it, it works out kind of cool because of the math that it will harmonically be resonant on 6, 10, 12, 17, 20, and 40 meters. All of those bands without really requiring an antenna tuner, except maybe on the band edges, you might, might use a, you know, the tuner in a radio can handle it, just what I call a touch-up tuner. Okay, but see, even if you're managing to make the radio happy, as far as impedance, you're still going to have standing waves on the coax uh, coming back from the antenna, essentially rejected by the antenna. It rides on the shield of the coax. So we call that the skin effect. RF will ride, at the higher the frequency too, it'll push its way out to the uh, outermost part of a conductor. So it rides back into your shack on the shield of the coax and therefore you have RF in the shack. So on certain bands, that antenna causes RF feedback into my microphone system. If I were to take these four chokes off, uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't use this Heil PR781 with my FTDX5000. Um, I've already tried, got to have them. It's in interesting how something so simple can make a big difference. Now, if you look, what I've done is I've installed it in such a way that the cable, uh, well, the chokes go around this metal shaft. Let me, let me focus that a little better. So the, they're snapped around the metal shaft that holds the microphone, but you see the cable is also running down. There you, you can see the cable going down through them. That's critical. That literally makes the difference whether I get to use that microphone or not. Now, again, it's not the microphone's fault. It's not the cable's fault. It's the off-center fed dipole coming into the shack with RF riding on the shield of it. Now, it's predominantly going to be an issue when you're operating on a band that the antenna doesn't have a resonance for, you know, a harmonic resonance. So that's where the issue comes in. Yeah, you can have a tuner. I mean, I've got this PAL star here, uh, the AT Auto. It can fool the radio. You know, it can create a match so the radio's happy and will deliver its power to the, to the uh, coax. But you're still going to have some signal rejected and riding back on that coax into your shack. So just thought I would discuss that since uh, the subject has come up a couple of times here on the channel. All right. Well, that's it for this video. I just wanted to give you a quick uh, look at how I dealt with the RF feedback here in the, uh, in the shack. All right. And uh, I'll just say 
as I usually do, I want to thank my Patreons. Without you, I could not justify doing this. Your support, large or small, helps me justify the time to do this. Uh, it, you know, helps offset a little bit of the cost as well. So thank you so much, Patreons, for helping me continue this uh, mission here. And, um, you know, you're helping me help others. So I really appreciate that. And if anyone else would like to contribute and become a Patreon for the channel, um, please consider that. Go to www.patreon.com. That's www.patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. And uh, also, uh, if you would, please like the video and subscribe. You have no idea how much that helps us out as well. And then um, if you do subscribe and click the bell, you will be notified when I upload the next video. Hey, thanks for watching and 73 from N4HNH.